Hello learners, welcome to week 7 of BEDS002 part 1. In today's session, we will be discussing forms, reasons and levels of conflict. A conflict can be with oneself or with the outside world. It may be with your friends, parents, spouse, siblings, helpers, politicians or the system. Conflict leads to stress, low morale and decrease output. In conflict, the bad values overpower the good values. Conflict makes an individual self-centered, selfish, egoistic, irrespectful, uncaring, arrogant, impatient and so on and so forth. So when we talk about conflict, conflict leads to a lot of stress. It leads to decrease output which means that the productivity of your work will be less. Uh, you would be having low morale and you will always be in a bad mood and so on and so forth. So in order to overcome this conflict, there are certain ways to overcome this conflict because conflict is not good for you and for the others. So it is very important to address conflict. So in this session, we are going to uh, find out the reasons for conflict how are conflict managed and what are the various issues regarding these conflicts? People use various ways or tantrums to show conflicts like anger, frowning, raising hands, use of abusive words, showing fist, kicking, beating, hitting and so many other ways. Human beings usually like to live in a comfortable zone. You and me likewise, we like to live in a comfort zone and if the comfort, uh, comfortable zone of an individual is interrupted then possibly and almost all the time conflict takes place. So when we are outside of our comfort zone in terms of you know having a conflict with others, if we are angry with others, if people use abusive words to us or uh, we are stressed We'll, we will be having conflict with ourselves as well as with the others. So when we are outside of a comfortable zone, when we are outside of a comfort zone, then this comfort zone is interrupted and conflict takes place. Each one of us has a comfort zone and a small disturbance in this zone can lead to big conflicts. So, in this week, we will be discussing, like I said, the vital issues related to conflict, the forms of conflict, the reasons for conflict and the levels of conflict. Conflict is a situation in which people, groups or countries are involved in a serious disagreement or argument. A conflict takes place because of opposing ideas, opinions, feelings or wishes. So when we talk about conflict, conflict can be between groups in terms of conflict because they have different, they belong to different religious groups, they have different religious ideology or conflict between countries, for example, India and China fighting uh, because of some border dispute or India uh, having uh, conflict with uh, other country like Pakistan because of border dispute and so on and so forth. So conflict takes place in a lot of uh, it, conflict has many forms. It could be between groups. It could be between countries. It could be between individuals. It could be between your colleagues because uh, in your office sphere, your colleague may not listen to you and your colleague may be very competitive and this would always like to uh, put you down so many ways by which conflict can take place. So when we talk about conflict, it is because of opposing ideas, opinions, feelings or wishes. Conflicts occur at all levels of interaction at work, among friends, within families and between partners between uh, various relationship. Uh, for example, conflict may take place be uh, between a daughter-in-law and her in-laws or uh, the son-in-law and uh, his in-laws. Conflict may also take place between friends because there may be some different uh, opinion between friends with regard to uh, the way they see things in terms of uh, 
द गोल्स दे वॉन्ट टू अचीव फ्रेंड्स में have a conflict with each other because their interest is different somebody may just want to sit at home watch the television or uh, some may just want to go out and party so there are a lot of ways by which conflicts takes place when conflict occurs the relationship may be weakened or in some cases it may be strengthened so uh, when conflict takes place relationship may be weakened however in rare cases it may it may not be very common but because conflict takes place you are able to voice your opinion you are able to talk about what you are feeling inside and you are going you are able to put forward what you are thinking about because of this in rare cases your relationship may be strengthened because you are able to speak your own mind you are able to give opinion so uh, Uh, because of con- conflict relationship may be strengthened but this is in very rare cases in most cases relationship are weakened so conflict when we talk about conflict conflict is a critical event in the course of a relationship when we talk about conflict conflict can cause resentment it causes hostility and also in cases where there is conflict at an extreme level it leads to the ending of the relationship however if conflict is handled well then conflict can be productive leading to deeper understanding mutual respect and closeness so managing conflict is important if you want the relationship to be long lasting if you want the relationship to be rewarding if you want the relationship to be strengthened so instead of uh, conflict causing resentment hostility and um, conflict leading to the end of a relationship if conflicts are handled well it can be productive leading to a better understanding uh, closeness between the warring partners and mutual respect for each other so these are the ways by which conflict can take place and conflict also occurs in various forms for example hate is a form of conflict you hate a person um, uh, very very much because uh, the uh, he has been abusive to you or you hate a person because he looks down on you or you hate a person because uh, he does he does not respect um, uh, the way you uh, he does not respect uh, your age or your seniority and so on and so forth then conflict also takes place or occurs in form like anger you are angry uh, because of uh, anger you are stressed because of anger uh, you 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 are in a fighting mood with others so anger is also another form of conflict then conflict occurs uh, in forms like destruction uh, because of conflict because of uh, a conflict with uh, uh, uh which you have with others there is a lot of destruction in terms of it could be destruction in terms of uh, property it could be destruction in terms of you are so angry that you do what is called self destruction you you try to harm yourself then another form of conflict is in the form of war uh when you, uh, the example of the first two world wars where you know there was this uh, world war between the, uh, the uh, this major groups in the first world war in the second world war you have the soviet union uh, as one group and the united states and the other countries uh, fighting against each other so this is a form of conflict which takes place like the uh, two world wars which have taken place and also conflict in terms of there is a lot of bloodshed which uh, takes place when there is conflict so conflict like i have discussed uh, just now takes a lot of forms like hate uh, anger destruction war i gave you the example of the first two world wars where uh, you had the former soviet union uh, which was one party uh, which was one group of uh, country which fought uh, which fought against uh, the united states and the other country so 
all these are forms of conflict which leads to a lot of disturbance it leads to a lot of chaotic situation it leads to a lot of uh, disturbance and people are rattled because they are disturbed and they have to step out of their comfort zone so these are the various forms of conflict which uh, takes place there are many other forms but these are uh, some of the uh, important forms of conflict that I have discussed about. Now, after talking about forms of conflict, uh, let us move on to reasons of conflict. Why, why does conflict take place? There must be some uh, factors, there must be some reasons why conflict takes place. Let us discuss some of them. Conflict takes place because of health reasons. Uh, we may react in unpleasant manner when we are physically ill, tired and hungry, suffering from headache or stomach ache, we are stressed or uh, other health related issues. So, for example, if I am a person suffering from a lifestyle disease like diabetic, uh, I'm a diabetic person or if I have um, you know, high BP level or if I'm suffering from a terminal illness like cancer, then I would react in an unpleasant manner. I would be in a very bad mood and I may not be physically uh, well and I would be um, having a lot of stress regarding my illness. So because of health reasons, um, I would be in conflict with others. I may not react to others in a pleasant manner. So health reason is a very important reason uh, why we may react in an unpleasant manner and why we may have or we are in conflict with others or we are also in conflict with ourselves because when we are stressed a lot of tension comes uh, within you so you yourself will be stressed and also you give stress to others so hell reason is one of the reason for conflict then another reason would be different people having different values values are the beliefs which we hold dearly we differ in opinion on important issues of child rearing, uh, rearing uh, women's right hunger poverty etc these lead to what is called conflicting values uh, for example let me give you uh, the uh, why uh, conflict may take place of uh, uh, opposing uh, ideas i just talked about uh, issues of child rearing or issues of women's right how you bring up a child would be different from how you bring up a child in a certain society would be different from how you bring up a child in other society in a particular society like india which is very traditional uh, there would be a certain way of bringing up the child compared to a child who is brought up in a european society in the western society so the way a child is brought up differ from society society so there would be a lot of uh, conflict of ideas there would be a lot of opinions with regard to how a child is brought up and also in terms of perception each one of us has varying standards of evaluation of situation the world is what we perceive others may not agree with our perception and this may be the reason for conflict for example the way i perceive the world i feel that the world is a good place I feel that the society in which I live in is a good society because we have democratic rights and we have uh, fundamental rights. Uh, our state treats us very well, but the perception of others may be wrong. Uh, for example, a minority group may not feel, uh, feel very uh, good in terms of uh, how their uh, rights are uh, being uh, throttled. Uh, so this is how perception uh, leads to what is called uh, this agreement it may lead to conflict of interest because a certain group may feel that the society in which they are living is not good for them because a lot of rights are not given to them but others may feel that you know the society in which they live in is a good society because they have the democratic rights they have the fundamental rights so it is how you perceive it, it is how you see situations it is how you evaluate situation uh, which leads you to perceive certain situation differently. And another way by which uh, conflict takes place 
would be because the reasons for conflict would be because of so, uh, socialization. We are born and brought up in different environments, so it is natural that we have different views. When there is difference, there is conflict. We have conflict because of generation gap also. For example, I belong um, to a certain age group and the age group to which I belong to would have different opinions of uh, the society, how the society has to function. So this opinion would be different from the opinion of, let's say, uh, a teenager because a teenager's ideas and opinions about the society would be different from uh, my opinion because I belong to a, a certain age group. And also socialization in terms of uh, if you see how uh, children are socialized in the Western society or when you see how children are socialized in a traditional society like India, there is a lot of differences. Uh, children may be given a lot of freedom uh, in certain society and in uh, other society, children are brought up very strictly uh, and so on and so forth. So when we talk about socialization, it depends on how society socializes you and um, how society socializes, uh, socializes you is different. It differs from society to society. Uh, another reason for uh, conflict is because of expectations. Expectation in terms of you have a lot of expectations from others and these expectations may be because you have a high expectations from others. Uh, for example, I work in an office and in the office, my superior, my director, my, would, my colleague would expect uh, some uh, certain standards from me in terms of uh, my productivity. And these standards uh, may be very high and I may not be able to fulfill these expectations because their expectations are very high. So this would lead to conflict and also uh, expectation in terms of when parents take their children for granted or when uh, husbands take their wives for granted or when employers take their employees for granted. When expectations are so high for example parents would expect their children to to get an a plus in their grade but the children are not able to get uh, a plus in their examinations or when husbands uh, uh, expect their wives to perform certain roles but wives uh, they feel that the wives do not meet their expectations or in a workplace where uh, the employers feel that the employees do not meet their expectations. So when uh, there is a lot of expectation from others and the others feel that you have not met their expectations, then a lot of conflict takes place. And when there are unreal expectations from people, when people expect unreal uh, they, 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 they have this unreal expectations from you, then it leads to a lot of frustration and gradually it leads to conflict. Each one of us reacts to conflict differently. Conflicts have many size, um, uh, forms and shapes. It can be as small as a fight, a small fight, a small uh, misunderstanding or it could be as big as a war. Conflict explains several aspects of our life. Conflict is normal and part of our life. It is not always a negative experience. We can learn a lot from conflicts because when there is conflict, uh, a lot of time the tensions that you have had would be, uh, you know, uh, when you have a lot of tensions with others, when you have a difference in opinions with others, then when conflict takes place, you are able to uh, share your opinion, you are able to blurt out your opinions, you are able to discuss and share your opinions. So it leads to a lot of uh, peace, it, it leads to a lot of uh, uh, your, your stress level would uh, decrease because you have now uh, shared your opinions with others, you have uh, discussed why uh, uh, why you had the, uh, this certain feelings about the others. So a lot of times 
when you have conflict uh, it is not always a negative experience because it can make relations and it also can strengthen your relationship when you have a conflict when you have conflict you are and when you are able to tell your when you are able to share the reasons for your conflict it eases your mind and also uh, taking out your feelings sharing your feelings also leads to your stress level coming down and in uh, some cases uh, some cases it can strengthen your relationship uh, let me take uh, give you a recent example where in afghanistan we have the Tal taliban taking over as of now and we have a lot of uh, uh, the uh, the citizen of afghanistan uh, feeling uh, uh, you know fearful they have a fear for their life uh, so this is conflict which has taken place because the Taliban has now control Afghanistan as uh, as of today so conflict takes a lot uh, have many shapes and size and forms it may be uh, a small quarrel between friends or with uh, your your uh, respected spouses or it could be as big as a war and so on we make a lot of adjustment and usually avoid entering into new conflicts over and over because when you do not adjust when you do not avoid conflict then it may harm you it would be good for it would it would not be good for you and it can have a lot of repercussion it can have a lot of consequences on your health so we try to make a lot of adjustment and we try to avoid conflicts different people react differently to conflict some react calmly while others explode some run away from conflict while others come back fighting some want to negotiate the conflict while others keep uh, wanting to uh, keep continue the conflict so conflict depends on how you react some people may react to a conflict calmly and because they react to the conflict calmly then the conflict is solved very uh, easily or in uh, due course of time however others may react and they may explode and they may give back they may physically uh, give back or verbally give back so uh, conflict continues in such a uh, situation and conflict does not uh, calm down because certain person reacts very violently to the other's uh, 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 opinion so when we talk about conflict it differs from person to person on how you react to the conflict in my personal opinion when you are in a conflict with others it is always good to react calmly instead of just reacting in the spur of the moment or verbally or physically because reacting uh, violently reacting physically would harm you more than the other so it is always good to react calmly to any conflict this is my personal opinion when we talk about conflict we have talked about the forms of conflict we have talked about the reasons of conflict now let us move on to the levels of conflict conflict can occur at a number of levels of human functioning what are these levels of conflict first this let, let us discuss interpersonal conflict what is this interpersonal conflict interpersonal conflict occurs when two people have incompatible needs goals or approaches in their relationship important source of communication breakdown and this is the main reason for interpersonal conflict therefore in order to reduce interpersonal conflict communication skill is very valuable you have to learn or you have to better your communication skills to prevent and resolve such interpersonal conflict so avoiding interpersonal conflict is always good and how do you avoid interpersonal conflict you avoid interpersonal conflict by strengthening your communication skills which is which is which will go a long way in strengthening your relationship at the same time when we talk about interpersonal uh, conflict personality conflict is another reason and this refers to very strong differences in motives 
values or styles in dealing with people that are not resolvable. Uh, for example, uh, I may have a strong political ideology or I may have a very strong uh, um, uh, more, I mean, I may have a very strong religious ideology. My uh, political ideology or my religious ideology may be, may uh, be opposite to your religious ideology or your your uh, more uh, your religious ideology. So there would be conflict in terms of uh, the the values or the styles or the motives that uh, you have in terms of. Uh, uh, the ideologies that you have so a lot of time personality conflict is because you have different opinions you have different value systems or you have different styles of functioning from the others when we talk about uh, interpersonal conflict certain common tactics are used in interpersonal power struggle for example use of rewards punishments deception evasion threats uh, emotional blackmail flattery and so on and so forth. So in interpersonal conflict, when you want to, uh, when you want to come up or when you want to raise ahead of the others, you would use uh, punishments, you may use threats, you may use emotional uh, blackmail to get ahead of the person. So these are the common tactics which I use in order to gain uh, more than your opponent. When we talk about the levels of conflict, we have talked about interpersonal conflict. Then there is another level of conflict, which is called role con conflict. What is this role conflict? Role conflict evolves real differences in re uh, role definitions, expectations or responsibilities between individuals who are in uh, interdependent in a social system. Unfortunately, the conflict is often diagnosed as interpersonal conflict rather than a role conflict and resolution is then complicated and misdirected. Uh, for a woman, in certain society, they expect women to do only household work. They do not expect women to go out and earn um, uh, income. They expect women to just look after the house or the children. So a lot of uh, in such society, a lot of conflict takes place because the society expects women to do certain kind of roles and women do not fulfill these roles. That is the role of a mother or a caregiver. So a lot of conflict may take place because uh, the society expects certain roles from a woman, but the women does not fulfill this roles. Then you have another level of conflict, which is called intergroup conflict, uh, which uh, takes place in the shape of ethnic or racial uh, wars. Intergroup conflict is especially tense and prone to escalation and complex when group identities are threatened. The cost of destructive intergroup conflict can be extremely high for a society in both economic and social terms. So in certain uh, countries, you have ethnic wars and because of uh, your ethnicity, because you are different from uh, the majority, or because you have certain ethnic affiliation, you uh, you are in conflict with the other. So this is um, intergroup conflict. Then you have another level of conflict, which is called international conflict, which occurs between states at the global level. Competition for resources plays a very important uh, part when you talk about uh, international conflict. And this conflict is because you want resources, you want uh, power, and you want to dominate. And at times, international conflict may not lead to war, but they may be solved at the uh, diplomacy level. And you may uh, you are able to curb the threat of a full-fledged war. So when we talk about uh, uh, different levels of conflict, uh, conflict may take place at uh, the interpersonal level, at the group level, at the international level, or conflict may take place because you have different roles which are expected from you and you uh, uh, we also talked about the various reasons for conflict we talked about how health reasons can be uh, one of the reason for uh, 
conflict which takes place and also uh, uh, you are expected to perform certain roles and you are not able to meet your expectation and so on and so forth so dear learners in today's class we have discussed the uh, forms the reasons and the levels of conflict with this class i have completed week 7 bedes 002 part 1 thank you so much